A few of us photography geeks at Digital Rev got together the other day for a few drinks and we started talking about lenses and apertures and then the topic slowly progressed to uber fast lenses. But I was saying that because everybody's invested their life savings in Lehman Brothers stocks. Nobody can afford these uber fast lenses anymore. So they told me that I'll be getting a little gift today and here it is. I'm only hoping it's Simon Pollock's 5D Mark II. Mind you, the bag looks a bit empty. There's a note here. Your challenge today is to make a digital pinhole camera. As you said that everybody is now penniless, we have kept the budget to a minimum. There's more. We've got a Canon body cap. Okay, and we've got a wine bottle opener. A soft drinks container, which is completely empty. How generous of them. A pair of scissors and some digital rev tape. What appears to be a sewing kit stolen from a hotel room. And some very strong alcohol. So I was right, these are the possessions of a smackhead. I don't know if they think I'm part of the A-team or something. Okay, let's get the sharp object. Right, so the middle is around here. Kids, if you're trying this at home, be extra careful. Opposing thumbs are incredibly useful. Right. not actually that sharp. So what I want to do is poke a big hole, probably about finger sized. Right, I think we're almost there. If a company's quality could be judged on the penetrability of their lens caps, then Canon make really good products. Painfully so. Yes! So I finally put a hole in the middle. Let's make it a little bit bigger. On. Ah, I think it's a bit off center. Come on, screw you. Right, now let's make it a bit smoother. Okay, so now we have our holio in our body cap. We have to find the thin material to poke the pinhole into. Still got a soft drink inside. It's a bit sticky. So let's put some alcohol on it. Now this is the formula that we're gonna use. Basically it was written by a man with lots of facial hair, so it must be right. D is the diameter of the pinhole. F is the focal length or the distance from the pinhole to the actual sensor. And this little thing is the wavelength of the light. Well, in non-geek terms, that means that the diameter of your pinhole should be about 75th of an inch, or a size 10 sewing needle will do. Okay, and like a proper smack head, let's get the needles out. Okay, and push it in. Now, if you're using something like a can for your pinhole, you should perhaps sandpaper the area around the pinhole make it as thin as possible. Let's get some tape. Now you have to line up the pinhole at the exact center of the body cap. Now they haven't actually given me a ruler, so I'm just gonna have to use my spidey sensors for this one. Uh, 
And there we have it, your very own digital pinhole on a shoestring budget. Right, let's add some last minute details. And here it is. Okay, so that's the end of our Open University tutorial. We've mounted my artistic slash autistic creation onto the Canon 400D and we're going to take it out onto the mean streets of Hong Kong for a test drive. So Leica has uh, some icons. I've uh, affectionately named our pinhole lens thingamajig the Digital Rev Semicon. There you go. That's the lens cap. They've given me possibly the cheapest tripod in the world, which is kind of appropriate. Now the trouble with this is that I can't actually see anything through the viewfinder. So I have to kind of guess the field of view. And of course there's no aperture priority. Let's give it one second. What can I say? Rubbish. Let's take some more shots. Oops. My lens cap is broken. <laughs> there you go. Right, let's go. With a pinhole camera like this, the aperture is effectively about f100, or maybe more. One good thing about this kit is that it's incredibly light. One disadvantage is that the photos are utter trite. There really isn't anything pretty down here, is there? That's okay. With the pinhole camera, everything turns out as a blur anyway. Oh my god. These tripod legs are so shaky. Ow! And because I can't actually see anything out of the viewfinder, I just have to use my sixth sense. Oh, I've got to take the lens cap off. These tripod legs feel about as brittle as a supermodel's legs. Could snap at any minute. Let's go. When it comes to making the pinhole, you have to make sure it's completely circular and also not too wide, not too thin. Otherwise the diffraction will make your pictures overly soft. I'm going to take a picture of this little bicycle. This is the same colour as my jumper. Unfortunately it looks like our pinhole is more triangular than circular might explain a few things. The pinhole was fun while it lasted, for shoots and giggles. It's certainly a novel use of a body cap that will let you create, um, creative photos on a low budget. Although we certainly wouldn't advise you to butcher your only body cap for the sake of it. But it serves to illustrate that you needn't break the bank to try a little something different in photography.